Oh. Oh. That went past 15 amps. See the DC arc? What's up, everybody? Average Joe here. I have a really important question to ask you. Did you know that the company Sun Gold Power, you know, the company that has those inverters, did you know that they also carry solar panels and batteries you know, and all sorts of other stuff? I honestly, I didn't know that. They reached out to me to see if I wanted to do a review on one of their inverters. I went to their website just to take a look and then I saw they had solar panels and I was like, holy crap. So I went on my email and typed up and said, hey, I would love to check out some of your solar panels. I haven't seen any videos on any of your solar panels, you know, anywhere. They quickly responded and said, yeah, we don't have any videos on our solar panels. So we would love to sponsor your channel with some solar panels. This went back and forth a few times and we decided that they would send 12 370 watt mono crystalline solar panels and those are supposed to arrive here really any minute so we're going to go outside and wait for those to show up and then we're going to open them up and make sure they're not broken and then we're going to test a few of them that's probably all we're going to do in this video is just a couple of tests and then in the next video we are going to install those on the roof just got 12 solar panels delivered from sun gold power i would say they're packaged pretty good everything's wrapped in the cellophane and we're on a pretty big pallet which basically covers the entire panel we do have a bunch of these nylon straps holding everything in the reason i'm showing you this is because if somebody is getting a set of solar panels from sun gold power this is what it looks like. And obviously what we're gonna do next is unwrap them and maybe unbox a few and test a few. Uh, I guess I'm not only worried about that bottom one. So let's unpackage them and see what we got. Oh, now that I'm seeing it, each set of panels has its own nylon strap. Lift that up and we got the solar panel right underneath that. Okay. so. It looks like they're face to face or front to front. It's like we have some support foam right here. We have one there and we have one right here. If you wanna see the sticker. All right, so on the back of the panel, the sticker is gonna be on the right and then their spec sheet is gonna be on the left. All right, so obviously these are 370 watt panels. Max power voltage is 33.2. Max power current is 11.15. Open circuit voltage 40.17 and short circuit current is 11.81. Module efficiency is 20.30%. All right, and then there's one other thing I wanna mention here real quick is right over here on the right-hand side on the sticker, it says all technical data at standard test conditions. All right, so whenever they test panels like the industry standard, it is 25 degrees C or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, that's pretty much like the, the, the industry standard whenever they test these panels. So at that temperature, we should be getting 370 watts. Well, later on down the road, they also decided to add a normal operation rating temperature and that is 46 degrees C or 114.8 degrees Fahrenheit. All right. And at those temperatures, we should be getting 300, basically 342 watts. So later on, when we test the panels, we're going to attempt that with a cold panel and a hot panel. All right. And there's one other page in their spec sheet. There's just a little bit more information like their warranty, 25 year linear product workmanship warranty and a 10 year workmanship warranty. So basically what that means is after 10 years, you should still get 90% of the output and then at 25 years you should get 80% of the output and I think that's pretty normal or standard and then right below that they have their quality and safety and they have a couple certifications all right there you go I would say these are looking real good nice very nice Okay, and of course we do have foam all the way around the panels and we do have the little plastic and cardboard on each corner. Oh, oh. Thanks for the help. And this is the one that was the bottom one, of course, and we need to open this up. It does kind of look like, I don't know, the box doesn't look very good, but maybe this was on top of the pile you know, at one time. All right, anyway, let's open this up. All right, good. It does not look like any of these are broken, which is fan freaking 
fantastic. Nice. Okay, good. It doesn't look like anything is broken or cracked. We're going to test it out. You want to go back in? Okay. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, you're just kidding. Which one is it? I'm going over here. We're going to go look at solar panels and test them. You want to help me? You going to help me? Come on. All right, before we test the panels, I was just going to do a closer look and a size comparison compared to me. I mean, I'm pretty short. I'm five foot six and they are taller than me, which is pretty damn impressive. And to be honest, these look really, really good compared to my old panels that I have right now. Also, these have the black aluminum frame, which I'm a big fan of. All right, anyway, uh, I was gonna give you the quick measurements. 40 and 7 eighths wide, 69 and an eighth tall, and one and three eighths thick. There are 10 cells tall by six cells wide. So 60 cells, on each side for a total of 120 cells. All right, so let me turn it around for the back side if you want to see that real quick. On the back side, of course, you have your MC4 connections. I would say that these wires are kind of small and it only gives you enough room, you know, to series over to the next panel. You do have two different places for your mounting and then it also has a spot for grounding. And then obviously the last thing is the sticker or specs. I've got a little printout of some temperature ranges and how much power we should be making at those temperature ranges. All right, so roughly 100 degrees is 39 degrees C. So that's what we're gonna go from. And I'm gonna hook up my meter right here. We're gonna be using this tester right here. It's an Ellie Joy WS400A. So here's positive, negative, and I'm not perfectly lined up with the sun, but I think that'll be Okay, and we're just going to go to auto. So we're doing 316 watts, 31.7 volts, and 9.95 amps. All right, so if I look at my sheet here, uh, we're doing a little bit less than what we should be. We should be producing around 350 watts um, at this. So let me re-angle the solar panel and see if it gets any better. Just put it on its side. Might be a little bit easier to angle it around for the sun. And this is gonna be my spat tool. I'm not as cool as Andy. I don't have a beer or anything out there. So we're just slightly off for the angle. Go right through the middle here. 110, 113. All right, so we're pretty close to the actual test, you know, testing methods that they use, which is uh, 46 degrees C. All right, so we're just shy of that. I know it's hard to see but it's showing 318, 316, 29.8 volts, and 10.6 amps, all right? So if we go over here to my little sheet, we should be at 341.99 for our watts, 30.98 for the volts, which is pretty close, and 11.29 for the amps, all right? So we're just slightly off yeah, about 20 watts, 25 watts is what we're missing. All right, so there you go. And this is a hot panel. I could go grab another one and see if it changes. How about we do that? All right, so I just ran into a little bit of an issue. I was trying to pull this off of the MC4 connector and I can't get my tool in there. <laughs> now, normally this wouldn't be a problem because you just snap them in once you know, whenever you install the panel and just leave it. But for me, just testing it, you know, I just have to grab two little screwdrivers to shove in here. I might just end up cutting those things out. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna have to cut those things out because I can't get it apart, even with the little screwdrivers. So I'm just gonna snip these little guys off here. Now I should be able to use the tool. There we go. All I did was snip off that little cover piece that was covering those so my tool could actually go on there. All right, panel number one. We'll take this one back. Ah, the wind. All right, once we test this one, I'm gonna bring out another old panel that I have and we'll just do a little comparison if we can. All right, so this panel is cold right now. So we gotta make this kind of quick. Set you on there. You right up here, I got another bug on my face. There is some clouds up there, but we're sitting at 349 right now. 10.2 amps. Oh, 415. I don't know if you can see that. 415. Oh, we had an error. Let me uh, shut it off, plug it back in. Oh, we're still in error. Why are we in error? Oh, 
I think I just blew it up somehow. I think I just blew it up. I can smell it. Oh, yep. Yep, just blew up. <laughs> All right, we just blew it up. <laughs> All righty then. I wonder if I could fix it somehow. Well, that sucks. At least we got to test one panel. Oh, you know what? We went over 400 watts, that's why. That's why we blew it up. Wow. So that's where the term boom comes from because I just blow stuff up sometimes. All righty, well, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> obviously uh, we can't really do any more testing so what i think we can do real quick i can show you what i plan on doing with these panels or where i plan to install them i mean it would be really cool if i could put them down here on the ground mounts you know like behind me but i can only fit four panels on on each one basically i could only fit four panels on this rack since these panels right here are really old they're kind of an odd shaped i did link them together long ways so i could actually fit 10 on here uh, I did have two more over there, but I moved them right over here, so don't worry about that. Uh, it would be really cool to put all 12 panels right here, but I don't really have enough room to do that, so I have to go up on the roof. All right, so let's go up there. All right, so these are the panels that I have on my roof right now. So 18 of them are from Santan Solar, which would be these six, these six, these six. Those are all used santan solar panels they've been working you know fine for used panels and then these are the first panels that i bought those are canadian solar panels these six right here are all wired in series the next set again is wired six in series and then these two strings are paralleled together and then the same thing down there 6s 6s and then they're paralleled together for array one and array two my plan is Actually, it would be really cool to put those panels right here, but it's facing east, which is cool. I need east facing panels, but what I think I'm gonna do, since this is like prime real estate and it's south, I'm going to pull up these panels right here and put those sun gold power panels right there. So that's basically gonna be the plan for those panels. And then later on, those 12 panels, maybe I can fit those right over here so I can get a little bit of morning time charging. All right, so if you're not aware, my main problem right now is I have a bunch of really tall trees in my yard. So I really don't get full sun on my panels really until noon. So that sucks, but I do like having all these trees because it provides all that shade down there. I don't want to cut the trees. My only option really is to over panel so I can just charge quicker, you know, during the afternoon. Uh, later on in time, it would be really cool to get a set of panels and put over here as well so I can get the west facing sun over there. Boom, fast forward a couple of days and I had to order a new solar panel multimeter. This one is basically the same brand, Eljoy. Uh, model number on this is EY1600W, basically 1600 watts or 60 amps. So just in case one of these bad boys decide to go over 400 watts, we shouldn't blow this one up, fingers crossed. And it's testing. Holy crap. All right, so we're hitting 394.4 watts. VMP is 35.28 and IMP is 11.22 amps. Wow, 395. These are 370 watt panels. Holy crap. All right, it's testing again. Oh, 403 watts. Holy crap. All right, so we definitely blew up that other meter like no problem. Testing again, 419 watts. I'm gonna bring the camera a little closer so you can see this. This is amazing. Oh, now we got clouds, of course. All right, just like any other time you're trying to test panels or anything, look, look right behind me. There's just one swath of clouds. Goes right to the sun. All right, I moved the camera angle just a little bit so we can get all the temperatures and readings that we should get. All right, so the sun is gonna come back out. We're slowly in the cloud right now. I hope it comes out. And we're sitting at 390 watts, which is fan-freaking-tastic. I mean, this is crazy. I was not expecting this at all. 363, I mean, that's probably what I was expecting. Holy crap, look at that, 426. 
All right, now we're in more of a cloud, 425. Look at that, 12.33 amps. That's amazing. All right, I'm gonna recheck the temperature, 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 C. That's our temperature of our panel right now. The outside temperature is 66. 425, that is fan-freaking-tastic. All right, so the max that we saw was just over 426. If we just do 425 times 12, that is 5.1 kilowatt or 5,100 watts. That would, be, that would be amazing. Of course, I do have the angle perfect, but I wanna bring the panel down to something that's more like my roof where I'm gonna install this and then we'll see what it's at. I mean, it might be something like that. It's really bad. All right, so if we bring it down to this angle right here, I'll be sitting around 320 watts. And we're sitting around one o'clock in the afternoon. So if I can get over 300 watts, that would be fantastic. Ah, this is gonna be awesome. All right, so if I could be at this angle in the winter time, which is pretty darn steep, we would be sitting around 361 watts. And again, I'm not even pointing at the sun. This is amazing. I can do a quick little temperature read for G Wiz 42.2 C, which is 108 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're at 356.3. You know what I kind of want to do is grab one of my 245 watt panels and see what that does. Okay, this panel right here, I have had for quite a few years. It's used from Santan Solar. They're just called like white label snail trails, okay? Model number is SS245P-60. So they're 245 watt panels. And these do have the longer MC4 connections, which is nice, and I can be right out here. All right, it's testing. Oh, wow, okay, I wasn't expecting it. So it's a cold panel right now. We got 238.6 watts, 30.6 volts, and 7.8 amps. So actually, that's not bad. I was expecting it to be a lot worse, to be honest. <laughs> A lot worse. I'll give you the actual temperature right now. 72 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 22.2 degrees C. All right, so now we're down to 200, oh, 230 watts. Wow, I'm just, I'm just surprised. Solar panels surprised me, that's it. All right, we'll do a quick carnage assessment here and see, see exactly what happened. Or maybe we won't. Boom, there you go, right there. One, two, and three, they all popped off. All right, I cleaned that off a little bit with some alcohol. I don't know if you can see it, but it says R500. The one over here that's on the top, I can't really read, but I'm assuming it's also a R500. So I think I'm gonna try to fix this and just solder on some new ones and see what happens. Again, that's where the term boom came from. A while back, I blew up some other stuff and it just kind of stuck. Because uh, that's what I do. I just randomly blow things up. Not on purpose, I swear. Technically, this one wasn't my fault because the panels are supposed to be 370 watt, not over 400. So yeah, I'm not taking responsibility for this explosion. But we'll see, we'll see if we can fix it. Maybe we'll do that in another video. Anyway, back to the solar panels. They're looking a hell of a lot better than my raggedy old panels. I am super excited to get these on the roof. If anybody else is looking for solar panels, these might be a good contender. However, I'm not gonna say that quite yet because obviously I don't have them on the roof yet and we haven't used them. So stay tuned and we are gonna get those installed on the roof this weekend. As always, if anybody has any questions, comments, or concerns, put those down in the comment section. If you wanna see an install video of me installing those panels up on the roof, make sure you like that smash button, and I will see you on the next uh, 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 oh. oh, that went past 15 amps. All right, so I can't really check this. See the DC arc? Oh. Scared me.